The Sokoto government official has threatened that more Christians in Nigeria will be murdered if they say things considered disrespectful to their revered prophet Muhammad. Following the killing of Deborah Samuel, a Christian female student of Shewishagari College of Education, Wamaku. <laughs> Specifically, Anas Mohammed Sani, who, according to his Facebook bio, is a personal assistant to the Sokoto Finance Commissioner, had asserted that Miss Samuel was brutally murdered because she was reckless with her tongue. A pro President Muhammadu Buhari regime social media contractor Zara Oyinye had taken to her. Facebook page to comment on the action of the Sokoto mob who killed the Christian student. Reacting to Ms. Oyinye's post, Ms. Sasani, popularly known as her uncle Anas Dakura on Facebook, insisted Muslim mob justifiably murdered Ms. Samwe. He wanted, he warned, Muslims don't take insults against beloved prophets in whatever form, justifying the gruesome murder of the female Christian students. Mr. Sani said, the earlier our Christian brothers and sisters understand this, the better for all of us. May the recklessness of her tongues never drive us to an early grave. The so-called Sokoto government's aid doubled down on Friday morning, ensuring those outraged by the mother of the Christian student, saying we have just a life to live and enjoy. We can make noise on Twitter and condemn the mob action using the Queen's English. However, that cannot bring back the Bora back to life. More so, if anyone will repeat it tomorrow, the probability of being served same meal is 99.9%, Mr. Sani declared. Ms. Samuel, a 200 level home economy student accused of blasphemy, had complained bitterly over the influence of religious broadcast messages shared to her department's, department's WhatsApp page. In a WhatsApp page voice note, the disease reminded a classmate that the group was created closely or solely for academic purpose, such as sharing important information regarding tests, assignments, deadlines, examinations, and the likes. Holy Ghost Fire, nothing would happen to me. Is it by force you guys keep sending these religious messages in our group? Our group wasn't created for that but rather as a notice for when there is a test, assignment, examinations, and so on. Not this a nonsense religious post, voice Miss Samuel on a department's WhatsApp group and heard by People's Gazette. The voice message elicited the fury of fanatic classmates and schoolmates who found her comments unflattering to their Islamic beliefs. Miss Deborah was mobbed at the school security post by angry students who hit her repeatedly with sticks and stones and stones till she died. According to a student who witnessed the developments and passed its preliminary details to the Gazette, her dying body was roasted alongside the building where she sought safety. The Gazette could not independently verify the witness information, but an online video showed how the student was set alight. <laughs> I don't know because there are there are some conflicting statements. Oh, this and that. But at the end of the day, if you feel offended, ha, <laughs> and you can even imagine the commissioner of a, the commissioner for whatever, whatever, the governor, the governor's aid. In fact, uh, the, I know the governor will not want to say anything, but within or within them, that is what they believe. And there's something that we really need to address very well in this country. We need to know the, the law that supersedes, whether the law of their religion or the law of the land, which one supersedes, because I don't understand. And at the end of the day, from all indications, they are talking about uh, that she insulted the prophet. She did not even call the prophet here. She didn't call the name of the prophet. I don't know why they are so intolerant with all these things. <laughs> The worst part of it is that the one that called himself the commissioner, the governor said, saying that it will happen all in Nigeria, <laughs> maybe in your north, but not the other side of the, not other parts of the country, Nigeria that you're talking about, maybe in your own country, or in your own state or your region. For the first time, I have become strong advocate and believer 
in dividing Nigeria into three or four different countries, the north is too much for much of a baggage for all Nigerians to carry into the re civilized secular world. They represent too much impediments in the process of Nigeria. It is so sad that we share the same country with a bunch of lunatics. Let it be known that Deborah was not just murdered by her classmates who stoned and burnt her to death, but by all the Muslims, elites, and politicians, the school management, everyone that supports this act behind closed doors, and those who have refused to commend, condemn this evil act and speak up against it. You people are all murderers of an innocent child. We can't even be working on constant eggshell in this country because of group of religion fanatics. I am afraid that children did this in their school premises in broad daylight. These are not bandits wearing masks from neighboring country or community. These are children that are known in the community. Their parents and siblings are known in the community and with no fear for rule of law, no fear of God, no human compassion, no the murdered their classmates while teachers and others watch. Honestly, nothing in life should unite human beings and animals together. We should never share the same space with such people. When we shout Biafra, Biafra, we know why we want our own separate republic. This is small compared to what is coming. What about those northern Muslims disrespecting and blaspheming our prophets, Mazi Namdekano? Many northern Muslims should know that Mazi Namdekano is our prophet and start respecting him. Any religion devoid of tolerance is evil and satanic. Killing is like a tradition in Islam. And it is unfortunate how some people reason about religion when a creature is fighting for a creator or prophet it shows it shows the weakness of him. How allow him to fight for himself? Imagine Sokoto government aid uttering such evil statements. There is no humanity in Islam. A lot of people are called to say no, that is not the that is not the right thing. Because we are even hearing even the the prophet himself was insulted to his face that he didn't even do anything. And he was so tolerant and law abiding. That he loved people. According to some people will be telling you this is what it is. I have heard about I have heard from a lot of Muslims. They'll say, No, 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 these guys are just taking it in you know, another level. Especially when it comes to Nigeria Muslims. And again, you see I have to split it again. Nigeria and uh, the Muslims from the northern parts of the country, their own is even different. And that's why you see that they call all these uh, southwest uh, Muslims that their own Muslims is not genuine. Because there's nobody in the south, southwest that we say this. Apart from this uh, Murik, you know, that one, eh? that one is, is, uh, that man is a suspect right from time. He's a suspect. You can hear what, is a co- what a commissioner is saying. What a commissioner is saying. You can, you can imagine what is spewing out of his mouth. It's unfortunate. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this.